Is, is there a true interpretation? Has university developed a true interpretation of history? That's the whole point of history, I think, is that no one can ever be right. Like, the whole point is that it's the more developing skills of like arguing and using evidence and interpreting things like that, but you can never... Like, I think that's one of the best things about it. Like, there's no generally right answer. It's just like You have to try yourself and like, back yourself up with research and things like that. So I don't think you can ever have that, so I don't think there is that. You kind of... You, the, whole, the idea of history is to argue it to kind of debate about different views. So a lecturer might like, come across with a Marxist view of a certain period or a certain topic, but it's your decision then to, to do the, the research and to challenge those ideas. So, no, really. His, the lecturer's there, the uni's there, to present the ideas to you and to enable you to debate them and come up with your own opinion. And whether you write about it or not, it's your decision. In politics, is there one true understanding of politics? No. No, not at all. Is it politics is a it's a subject made up made from like made up by people. So and people are all different. So there's never gonna be one true understanding. Unlike sciences where like the grass grows, the wind blows. <laughs> oh, that rhymes. And, yeah. So how do you decide which interpretation is correct? There's not an uh, there's not a correct interpretation. There's all different streams of ideas and that's what's great about it. You can choose whichever one you want. But isn't it pointless then, because you'll never really know what the truth is? Yeah, but like, what is the truth in life? So, yeah. <laughs> English literature, is, it's a social science. So in social science, there's a lot of different interpretations of uh, literature. Mm. Is that something you've come across? Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's a almost wholly subjective degree. There's not, there's not any kind of objective view of literature. I think that's that's part of the degree, and that's part of a lot of arts degrees. And that, like, if you're studying a science or something, there's always a definite answer. Whereas with a lot of subjects like English, that it's just wholly subjective, and you can have any different interpretation on like, what you study and what you read. And so. But do you think that's true? Do you think it is wholly subjective? Do you not think there is a con correct interpretation of a? I don't, think that, I don't think you can say there's one correct interpretation. I think there are generally like recognised ways of thinking about literature. But no, I, I wouldn't say that you can say that there's one right or wrong answer when it comes to interpreting literature. There's kind of debates between different schools of thought and different ways of thinking about it. And I guess that kind of constitutes what you study in the degree, you kind of go through what those disagreements are and why different people think different things. So, yeah. But aren't they all trying to get to the truth? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So there must be an objective truth then? <sighs> yeah, you've got me there. <laughs> I haven't thought about this enough. Um, I guess the truth is what you make it, especially with a degree like that. History is kind of, I guess it's a hybrid kind of thing because there was an objective thing that happened, but there's different ways of looking at it and interpreting why it happened, I guess. But, hmm.